I just want to make a quick video of what is entailed in using strange part number H1138 housing ends, which are a designed to take a nine inch uh, bearing and let you bolt a stock 8.8 drum brake to it. And uh, just wanted to pass on some tidbits of information I've learned along the way. Uh, if you want to use those ends with drum brakes, um, I started with a 91 Ranger drum, which is pretty common in the, the forums and stuff like that for people to do the five lug conversions. I believe it's probably a direct swap for a stock axle, but what I ran into was the idea of the drum was too small for the shoulder on the aftermarket axle, and then the OD of the axle flange was too big for this step right here which is about six and a quarter. And uh, so I had to open up the drum a little bit. And then we also turned the axle down some. And to minimize how much we had to turn down the axle, we cut a generous chamfer off of this corner here. And that lets that axle set down in that radius a little bit better. And uh, and then the uh, the next thing you need to know is the axle backing or the the brake backing plate is going to need the ID opened up so that you can slide your axle through it. It could probably be pressed on. No, it couldn't even be pressed on. Never mind. Yeah, it needs to be opened up so it'll slide over the, the axle bearing because the axle bearing is going to stick out of the into that flange by about an eighth of an inch or so, and that backing plate is used to take up space on there, so it's got to be able to slide over the outside of that the uh, bearing. And then lastly, if you plan to do that as a temporary measure and go to disc brakes down the road, you need to realize you're going to be kind of limited on your options on disc brakes due to the design. Most of the aftermarket uh, disc brake kits are designed for your, your standard 8.8 flange, which has a pretty large area on the back side of the flange, and that's where your caliper bracket is going to bolt to whereas the strange ends have this shoulder on the back side due to such a large bearing and it's going to basically knock out the possibility of bolting the caliper bracket to that and the other issue is once you've gone to the nine inch end you've still got to have an axle retainer and most aftermarket kits for nine inch brakes incorporate the axle retention and the caliper mount into basically the same bracket but i can't find any kits whatsoever for these ends that do that so i end up having to go with a speedway kit that just welds to the inside of that end it's just a circle track stuff it's just universal and it just barely clear, cleared the end even but i was able to make it work but just be forewarned that there's not a lot of options for disc brakes. If you decide that you do go ahead and want to go to disc brakes down the road, you're really better off to have just started out with a, a big Torino end, which is similar to that, which that's an Explorer, but it's the big Torino bolt pattern, and that will let you bolt uh, Explorer caliper brackets to it, or there's a number of aftermarket uh, disc brake kits available for it also, I believe, but they also bolt, they'll bolt to this side here, but the uh, the way that's made, it makes it a lot easier to go to disc brakes and still hold the axle in. So, anyways, hope this helps.